Some artists even use books as their art form, and here are two examples of what some artists have done. Today I'll show you how to make a basic book, and then you'll be able to embellish it, decorate it any way you want. To make this book, you'll need several sheets of typing paper like this, and then one piece of construction paper. Take the typing paper and fold it in half. We're going to make it actually a smaller book than this. So you're going to use the crease that you made for the half fold as a cutting line, and you're going to cut down the middle so that you have twice as many pages, but they're going to be smaller. After that, take them and fold them all in half like they will be when you make them into a book and crease it really well. Now take one of them and write down the crease, draw a line, but make it so that there is an inch left of space at each side, or at least approximately an inch, almost an inch. And then carefully stick your scissors blades through so that you can cut on that line to make a, a long slot. I take the other pages and lay them right here because what you're going to do is you're going to mark on the crease on those pages a line like this that is as long as the place where you didn't draw the line on the other one. Okay. And then open it up, you'll see the two lines, and then you need to cut just on those two lines. So there's a slit on each end. Now the next part is where you have to be careful. You take your um, pages and you fold them in half like that. You don't really crease them. And then you're going to slide it through the slot in here. Now you might want to, you might end up having to take your scissors and make that slit longer. If you do, just be careful that you don't go through the hole um, all the way to the edge because then that'll defeat the purpose. Once you get it to where the slits match up, then very carefully unfold your paper. And what happens is that the slots will fit together. You know, keep all the pages together like that. But you have to be really careful with that step. And if you tear your slit, you might have to tape it. But this is what it looks like. And the pages all fit together, and you didn't even have to use a stapler or a paper fastener. Now fold your piece of construction paper like a book, too, and crease it. And your pages will fit in like that. So lay it in there, and then take your glue, and on the front page you're going to put glue dots around the edge, all the way around the edge, because this is what's going to attach the book to the cover. And then lay it against the cover with the back of the book against the crease in the cover and then put some more glue on on the back page and then fold the cover and press down so that the glue sticks and so when you open it you have pages and a cover and they're all attached And then you can cut around the edge of the cover to give it a decorative edge. And I'm just going to cut curves again, but you know, you could put a fringe on if you wanted to, or cut angles, or you could even cut the book cover into the shape of something, but you want to be careful that you didn't cut the pages unless you want them to be that shape too. And then after you get done cutting your cover shape, then the next thing you should do is decorate it. And I would use cut paper scraps. And I use a lot of colors. And maybe you could even cut out your name and glue it in there. And then you can make it into a journal or write a story or anything like that.